How much are your books? 25 cents each or five for a dollar. All right. There's Stephen King and Dean Coots. And then there's a couple of James Patterson's there, so. I'll buy all the Kings. Let's okay. see what we got here. Seventeen of them. Five for a dollar, so that's three dollars. Here you go. Just make it four. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Make sure that's right. Hold me one shot. Okay. John. One more. Yeah, give me the money. Okay, so we got I watch your videos all the time. Oh, that's so cool. I want you to have that. Thank you so I much. I clutch on like a New Year Reds fan. I appreciate that. So. Thank you. What's your name? Jeff. Jeff, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Appreciate this. Yeah. Good luck with your sale. No, thank you very much. Morning. How much is your VCR? Uh, 45. 45? Yep. Do you have the remote for it? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. Morning. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I apologize, we just can't put stuff out in the driveway yet. Totally understand. Until it stops raining. Are you looking for anything in particular or just uh, anything you want? Something I can't live without. Okay. You've got one random ping seven iron. Do you have the, the whole the other set for it? No. Just what's in here? Yeah. And I'll sell. It doesn't have to be the whole set. I'll, if you want that club, I'll sell you that club. Okay. Is this for a Nissan? Yes. It was an Ultima. Huh. He put in his... Uh, some video screen. Gotcha. Good morning, how are you? I apologize, we just can't get this stuff out into the driveway yet, so watch, watch your step. And then the couch and the desk are also for sale, we just can't get them out the sides yet. That's what I'm hoping for. And the driveway dries quick, so I have to avoid all the dry weather. No, no doubt. No doubt. I'm going to get all your World Series tapes. I'll get these, too. I think I priced them all out. I'll give you a bit. So, two, four, six. That'd be three. I'll give them to you for four, uh, two dollars for the whole set. Okay, great. Thank you. Since you're buying them all. All right, let me get a bag. I added two more to it, so oh, okay. add a buck to that. Okay. So three for all the videos then. Thank you. Um, how much are, one had the lenses and one had the glasses. I'm not sure how much each of them are. Uh, three each. Three oh, each. no, I'm sorry. No, 10 was, was the glasses and three for just okay. the lenses. no problem. I'll take those two. So I'll 16. keep looking around okay. and see what I can find. We're at 16, just FYI. <laughs> Morning. The couch and desk are also for sale and I have, and everything on the floor we just haven't gotten it to the driveway because yeah put your chrome then it is yeah yeah no that's this part won't. yeah are these three i'm oh, sorry are these three uh, okay. the pullovers are five five okay jersey's ten Are the soccer jerseys ten as well? Uh, no, those I will count as the short sleeve shirt. So we'll uh, we'll make those. Uh, okay. We'll go two. Okay. All right, I'll take these. I've got all the clothes too. All right. So, 
I'm also going to get the um, Ultima stereo. Oh, okay. So I think that puts me at 62. Did I say 10 on that? I yeah, it's okay. at 10. Yep, that works. Thanks so much for bagging it up. Oh, absolutely. There you go. Oh, thank you. What's going on, man? Adam, since you flipper. Call you on a bunch of stuff. Nice to meet you. Nice you doing you. good today? A couple of Disney shirts. Yeah. That's about it. And Slim Pickens. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get out until like nine, so. Oh, yeah. Gone, right. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How you doing? I'm well, thanks. Well? Okay. That works great. The only issue is you gotta plug it in. It's not a Wi-Fi. Gotcha. But it sounds great. Okay. But Would it's just a matter of no Wi-Fi. Would you take 15 for it? Sure. Okay, I'll keep looking around and see what else I can find. Nothing like a boat. Thank you. Uh -huh, absolutely. Good luck with the sale. All right, I'm back at the shop. I got a lot of stuff today, and the vast majority of it came from one sale. You guys know how that goes. You get to one sale, and you just keep finding more and more and more stuff. I think I spent, I want to say it was around 60 bucks at this one sale. So they had some good clothing. I got Vineyard Vines. Let's see. These are uh, Shep and Ian quarter zip pullovers. I think I paid like three dollars each for these maybe five uh but these go for like 20 to 30 dollars each uh, i really like vineyard vines i got a cincinnati reds uh shirt from uh 2012 when we uh won the nl central i'm just gonna keep that for myself if uh <laughs> if uh you hate the astros look away but i got this uh astros majestic cool base jersey um from the very controversial 2017 uh world series this is an alex bregman jersey paid 10 bucks for this there's still a lot of astros fans out there so i'm sure somebody will want it i got some soccer jerseys and i think these were only a couple bucks each i've done really well selling soccer jerseys i don't know a whole lot about soccer i mean i'm gonna have to google these images just to figure out uh what teams these are but some of them had the players on the back which was cool i think most of these are going to be like adult smalls or kid sizes I've never seen a Jordan logo on a soccer jersey, so I thought that was kind of interesting. But yeah, keep an eye out for the soccer jerseys. Um, typically, I get like $25 to $30 a piece for these. I've done really well selling them. It always throws me off because most soccer jerseys have the uh, sponsorship as the primary thing. So like this is just a uh, this is the airline, but then right here is the uh, the team. I know the FC is football club. Maybe the M is Manchester. I really don't know. I'm sure you guys are laughing about how little I know about soccer. But yeah, if nothing else, I could just Google image what the uh, teams are. And then here's another uh, Vineyard Vines pullover. So yeah, I did pretty good with the clothing. I just noticed, like, look at all this pilling. I think it's called pilling. Where all these little threads are coming out. That's not good. So let's move this out of the way. I got a pair of Sperry uh, shoes at that sale. I think these are only a couple bucks and in very good shape too. Uh, Sperry's a good brand. I think I can get probably 25, 30 bucks for these based on what I've seen for sales comps. I got a bunch of Stephen King books on sale. I think there was about like 15 of them, something like that. My sister-in-law is a huge Stephen King fan. So anytime I find this stuff, I pick it up if it's cheap enough. Um, she already had all of these except for one. So I already gave the one to her. Uh, and the rest of these, I'm just going to bulk up and lot up on eBay. Sell them as one big lot. I've done pretty good doing that. If you can find all one author that's pretty, co you know, collectible. Uh, Stephen King's super popular. And these are all hardback. So I think I can get 40 or 50 bucks for these as a lot and ship them um, media mail. So the buyer's probably only going to have to pay 10 or 15 bucks to ship. Uh, even though it's going to have some considerable weight to it. Got a bunch of VHS tapes to this one sale. 
they had all these World Series, which I thought was really cool. So they've got 75, 76, 90. They got a bunch of the Cincinnati Reds World Series. Uh, they had a Crosley safe at home. That's the old Red Stadium, Crosley Field, wire to wire, which is really neat. I think I might just lot up these World Series and uh, just sell them, you know, as, as a lot. Because individually, I don't think they're going to bring a whole lot, but I don't have much into them. I think I paid... I think she sold me these for like two bucks and these are 50 cents each. So we'll see how I do with that. Got some Oakley sunglasses at the sale. I cannot find a model number. I've been looking for a model number on these things and I cannot find one. So if there's any Oakley sunglass experts out there and you guys know where I can find a model number on these things, please let me know in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. So I got these for 10 and then they also had these uh, spare lenses for three dollars uh with the case so i'm going to list the lenses separately typically i get you know 50 60 70 bucks for oakley's depending on what they are these aren't in great shape they definitely need to be cleaned up uh, but for 10 bucks had to jump on those got this bose wave radio i thought this was going to be worth more i think this might be like the first generation when i searched the model number um it's only selling between like 40 and 50 bucks which is okay i paid 15 and it has the remote, so that will definitely help it sell. Last but certainly not least, I got this 1979 Media Fact book for the Cincinnati Reds. I was at a sale, and somebody said, hey, John, and I looked around, and it was the guy having the sale. His name's Jeff, and he had this set aside for me. I, I think he was expecting me to show up to a sale, and sure enough, I did. So, Jeff, thank you so much. It was super nice of you, and it was great to meet you. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.